After a back and forth first half between Dallas and Memphis, it was the third quarter where the Grizzlies were able to make their separation, putting up 41 points. After that, the Mavericks weren't able to catch back up as they fell 121-107. After the game, head coach Rick Carlisle called it a disappointing performance. We're going to have to, we have to do a lot better. Um, I'm going to have to do a better job of getting these guys ready. Um, it was, uh, well, was just a very disappointing performance. Your leading scores in tonight's matchup for the Mavericks, it was Kristaps Porzingis, who finished with 32 points and 12 rebounds. For the Grizzlies, it was their rookie, John Morant, who had 21 points and three assists, while Memphis had five other players finish in double figures. Now let's head on over to Smacker Miles, who has more on the Grizzlies win. Thanks, Austin. The Grizzlies definitely aren't playing like a team that's just over 500. They've won 13 of their last 17 games, and they have a whole lot of momentum and a very young roster. After tonight, the Grizzlies will still be eighth in the Western Division. Their next game is at the 76ers on Friday. Back to you, Austin. The Mavs hit the road for back-to-back -back games with the Wizards and Hornets this Friday and Saturday before they return back to Dallas next week for their final two home games before the All-Star break. Reporting from inside the American Airlines Center for D210 Sports, I'm Austin Ivan, and you've just been credentialed.